Welcome, welcome, welcome to another episode of 3D Boxing Podcast. It's good to be back. We got a lot of big news coming tomorrow. I'm right, gonna do some shows on some other stuff, uh, but today I want to touch on this Chris Colbert because Chris Colbert was overheard um, at the controversial Venezuela decision. I have the scorecards on that as well. Um, we can get into that, um, but um, saying he'd give Venezuela a rematch. Now that he's saying he's not going to do that, um, and that's what we're going to spend the next few minutes on. Spend today's show on. Uh, but before we do, please like, share, and subscribe. Follow Three D Boxing, Three D Boxing Blog on all forms of social media. Quick hits coming at you every day, 8 to 10 minutes a day to keep you up to date on the latest, greatest boxing news and rumors. Uh, please also subscribe to our other channel, Texas Boxing Scene on YouTube. That's Texas Boxing Scene. Uh, all proceeds go to autism research and recovery. All right, let's get into um, let's get into today's show. Um, Chris Colbert got the benefit of a very controversial decision. Very controversial decision. Uh, we have the scorecards. I'm going to do an episode tomorrow on the scoring of that fight because I don't think it was that bad. I had Valenzuela winning 95-94. I thought they were rounds that you could flip. And if we go through the scorecards, that they, they all, all three judges came up with 95-94. They got there in very different ways. Um, they disagreed on a lot of the rounds, which suggests the rounds were very close. And through the theme of the fight, I thought you Colbert was winning the majority of the rounds, but Valenzuela was landing the biggest shots. He'd have moments, spurts, rallies uh, where he'd really hurt Colbert, really get to him. Obviously, he dropped him in the first round, which is a 10-8 round, which was the difference on my scorecard. Um, I thought the fight was very close. We went to the scorecard, and I had an inkling that Colbert was going to get this decision. Um you had Lisa Jampa, who kind of favors the boxer, Glenn Feldman, who is kind of all over the place, right? And I, I didn't know what he was going to do. Um, and then um, who, who was the third judge in uh, that fight? It's totally slipped my mind. Um, let's see if I can pull it up real quick. It was Lisa Jampa, uh, Don Trella. They, they all had it 95-94. Um, um, the interesting thing is that um, the third round, which I scored for Colbert, only Lisa Jampa gave him that round. So um, Don Trella and Glenn Feldman um, had Colbert down two points after three rounds. That's interesting. And then they still they still scored it for him. Um, and also, Lisa Jompa gave the last round to uh, Valenzuela, which I, I, I think most of us agree Colbert won. Um, had he not, had she not done that, she would have had it wide for Colbert. Um, but there was just a lot of, it was an interesting fight to score. And, and I, I don't, I really don't see the travesty in this. I, I don't see what everyone's upset about. But what we did hear, after the crowd reacted, after everyone booed, uh, we heard Colbert in the ring saying, we can run it back. We can run it back. Well, he's got 180 degrees on that now. Um, and, and I'm sorry, a, a boxing scene article here. Um, when asked about it, he said, F no, he was being a sore loser. Um, he shouldn't have been a sore loser. If he would take the loss like would have took the loss like a man, I would give him a rematch. Like I took my loss like a man. When I lost, I, I have uh, <clears throat> like I took my loss like a man. When I lost, I'd have gave him a rematch, but he was being a sore loser. So now we ain't getting getting nothing. 
And then he wants the rematch rematch with Garcia. So a couple of thoughts on this. Um, I was wrong about Chris Colbert. I told you Chris Colbert was, was going to be the next great one, that he was something special. Um, I was wrong. He's, he's a talented guy. He, he's not what he cracked up to be. So I, I was wrong about that. I, I'll, I'll take my L on that one. Um, I, I don't think I, – I think he's lost two fights in a row now. Um, I, I don't think this fight was a travesty. I, I don't think it was a, a robbery. I thought it was a very close fight that I scored one point for um, Valenzuela, which could have easily gone one point the other way. So I, I, I didn't see the travesty in it. Um, and I'm going to do a show on the scoring uh, because I, I think it, it, it was worth noting. This fight's very, very close. Um, and I, I, I don't think the judges were necessarily wrong. I could find a swing round swing. And if you go through it, there's lots of swing rounds. There's, there's more swing rounds than this, and there were clear cut rounds. Um, if, if you like the aggressive, you know, nature, if you like the bigger shots, then then score up Ravel as well. If, if you like the, the, the better boxing, the more, you know, dominant rounds, um, I shouldn't say dominant rounds. Dominating the larger portion of the rounds, like like Colbert was winning the majority of the rounds, it was just what Venezuela won. He won big. How do you score that? They're difficult round. I mean, the last round is a perfect example of that. I thought everyone would score for Colbert, losing John, who I think is maybe the best judge in the sport. I honestly think that scored for uh, for Valenzuela, which I, I don't think is terrible. Um. But you know he he had lost the whole round big, and then the last couple of seconds he again he hurt Colbert, so he gave it to Valenzuela. She gave it to Valenzuela. Um, this is clearly a duck. It's it's it, it, it's a duck because the whole world was watching that card, and the whole world told heard you tell him, "We can run it back. We can run it back." And now you're saying. No, F no, I'm not running it back. Why not? Because he was being a sore loser. How was he a sore loser? He thought he won the fight. When you lost to Hector Garcia, you clearly lost. You weren't even close. And we can get into that because you're going to lose again. But he clearly lost. Hector Garcia beat him up and pummeled him. This wasn't the case in this fight. This was, I don't care who you had it for. I'm not here to talk about whether it's a robber or not. That fight was extraordinarily close. I I just don't see how anyone thought that fight was one side or how it was a robbery. Yes, I scored it for Garcia, and I'm saying it's not a robbery. It was a very, very difficult fight to score. I could easily score that fight for Chris Colbert. And I said, like I I said, going to the scorecard, I had an inkling that they were going to favor the box, but the judges were going to favor. Uh, the boxer who was winning the majority of the rounds. You know, I I I, I thought Joppa would have it for um, Colbert. I thought Feldman would would have it for Valenzuela, and I thought Don Trella here is going to be. He's going to be the deciding factor here. It turns out they all had 95, 94. You know, it's not, it's not all. Ward and Kovalev is the other one I can remember where all three judges had a very close fight. It's very hard to score. All had it the same way. Um, I, I, there's, there's another one. Um, Estrada and uh, Quadras, I, I think. All, all three judges had it. And they were all like one point, you know, it <laughs> had all the same score. Um, but to me, Chris Colbert saying for the world to hear, we can run it back. And then saying, I'm not running it back is a duck. I, I don't know how else you would, would view that, but let me know what you guys think. Leave your thoughts, comments below. Let me, uh, let me know what you think. Is it a duck? Um, do you think Colbert will win the rematch? I, I know y'all think he lost, which is fine. Um, how bad of a robbery do you think it was? One to 10. Let me know what you guys think on that. Leave your thoughts, comments below. Please like, share, and subscribe. Follow three bye. Boxing, three boxing blog on all forms of social media. It is March 28th, 2023, from Texas to the world. Thank you and God bless. Don't miss a tweet, post, story, or video. 3D Boxing is on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. Hit the subscribe button now to stay inside the ring.